We're underway. Guess where the ball is, listeners? Yeah. In touch, in front of Steve and I, but he went by. I couldn't quite see, was it Minoga? Very, very easily. Here they come again to the byline, looking to pull the ball back. Squared across the goal and poked in. And Maidenhead have got a first or second minute lead here. Literally there. And Partington's got Mino Minoga ahead of him and a good run into space from Pendlebury. He gets his cross in from the right-hand side. It's headed up and away by Alan Massey and it finds... Uh, a maidenhead player, but it's intercepted by Pendlebury. Amalouz has got it on the edge of the area. Nice skip past one, two, into the penalty area. He's in, he's doing really well, and he's pulled down. And it's a penalty for the shots. A brilliant run from Justin Amalouza. In the sixth minute, right-footed against Alexis Andre Jr. And he beats him. Andre Jr. goes to his right, and uh, Hutchinson goes low, just to the left of the centre as uh, Andre Junior would look at it and it is after just six and a half minutes Maidenhead United won Aldershot Town In comes the free kick. Oh, it's fizzed in right by the goal and it's ended up in the goal and I don't know how it's... Ah, it's Offside. Been, it's been disallowed. It looked like it had gone past everybody and then maybe inadvertently hit a player not even facing the goal and went in. Pendlebury's onto the ball, holding it up. He's doing really well, he's coming across now. Flips the ball into the far post and it's left. Hesitation, <laughs> Hammer loses. Oh, how has that stayed out? Terrible hesitation between Odotayo and Alexis Juna. Up steps Pendlebury, drives it low. Scramble, half cleared and then cleared. And Haji Minoga steps forward. In it comes, headed away by de Havilland. Back in from Partington. Corner's up there on the edge of the penalty area. Turns, can he get a shot in left foot? And he can. It's curling, but it's too high and it's too wide. As the ball goes up, we are indeed. OK, so just for my producer's benefit, it is half-time. Shots fan uh, Colin Hayden in Tenerife has been uh, watching and listening this evening. In comes the corner, headed away by Kenlock, headed on by Amaluza, hooked back in by Adams, headed on by Barrett, headed away by Glover, only as far as Reece Smith on the edge of the area. He finds Adams, Adams will send it out to the left side where Nathaniel George will pick it up again and go one on one against Monoga, who's on a yellow. To the edge of the area, tries a shot. Oh, it's a brilliant save from Ashby Hammond, a worldie. In it comes from the left-hand side. It's flicked, it's headed away by Maidenhead player, only as far as that man, Minoga. He turns it down the left-hand side. Glover takes it well, onto his right foot, edge of the area, finds Partington, will he shoot from distance? He does, it's a good one, on target. Nice and comfortable save in his midriff. Oh, poor clearance from the uh, Maidenhead keeper, but somehow or other it goes underneath Amaluza and goes through to uh, Nathaniel George anyway. In comes the long throws, headed away by Barrett, back to Minoga, takes it down, clips the ball in. Header there, corner. Was there a deflection? No, it's gone over the bar, so it must have gone straight over from uh, uh, Tyler Cordner there. Here it comes from Minoga. It's headed on by a shots player, turned towards goal, comes back out. I think it was Barham who swung and turned it towards goal, but it was blocked. It came back to him and then he couldn't get a shot away. Here's Partington lifting the ball over the top. And uh, is, is there a slip? Oh, he's, oh, Amaluz is onto it in the edge of his area. Can he try a shot? He does, and it's blocked. OK, we've got another different corner taker. In it comes right-footed, headed away by Corey Jordan. That particular time, the corner was taken by Nathaniel George. He's got the ball back now on the left touchline. Um, manages to find Odate, who goes for the return. It's a good play, and it's up in the air and over and off the bar, and then forced... Oh, there's a scramble on the area, and the Maidenhead fans appeal a goal. What's the referee given? Nothing. He said, play on. It might well have been over, we'll never see. It was a hell of a scramble. But, oh, oh that's a terrible challenge on Justin Amaluza by the Maidenhead, number 24. He's just stopped Amaluza sprinting away down the right-hand side. Partington lifts it forward, headed away by de Havilland, only as far as... Uh, Ochieng gives it to Amaluza, who gives a give and go with, um, he's going to keep it in as well, with Frost, 
One on one, he's going to go. He's going to come back to Frost. Yes, he is. Frost should be able to clip a ball into the penalty area here. He does. It's headed away by a maidenhead player. Frost might pick it up on the edge of the area, though. No, he can't. And uh, I think it's Charlie Adams back there. Uh, exchanges passes with Odateo. Sends it forward. And there is the final whistle.